What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel online www.whatsupinthesky.com and we're going to do a little something different today. I was on the Richard C. Hoagland's Other Side of Midnight show on I think it was the May 21st and we talked about Gale City and Gale Crater, basically where the rover has been heading to this whole time. We would love it to just kind of drive up in here and check this stuff out. Um, but I'm going to a music festival coming up. As always, if you're subscribed to my channel, I will be gone for a week. So no more videos unless they're, uh, you know, from the music festival. I always put up a couple for you guys. Um, so I wanted to do this. Um, Todd and I, before the show, brought up a list of some of the old, you know, 70% JPEGs from the NASA website and went ahead and got them from the PDS, which is the Planetary Database System, um, if you're not familiar with it. Basically, you get 70% JPEGs with artifacts in it on the, on the brand new images. Anything you find on basically this website right here um, is as low quality as you're going to get. Now, what you want to do is you want to go to the uh, PDS. Now, they're six months behind, granted. So what I did was I, I went ahead and I picked about eight, Todd and I did, eight or so images that I felt were pretty cool coming from the start to where we were, you know, at Saw 11, wherever, 1300 or something we're at now. So here we go. This is a composite. This one hit the uh, Internet People were saying it was a dinosaur. I, I can't remember what I said. I think it looks like a machine. It's definitely out of place. Um, should not be out there on Mars. I mean, it looks like it's got factory. I mean, it looks like it was built in a factory. Check this piece out here. It almost looks like metal that's just been kind of, uh, you know, who knows how long it's been sitting there on Mars. You know, I used to I used to take guesses back when I first started my videos. It's amazing. Um how I don't do that anymore because really I don't know I'm not even sure of our own history here and how long um, on earth so to speculate you know I see what I see you see what you see but um, come check this one out at the website as this link will be below so you can do this yourself you just click on each one and it'll bring it up and if you want to see the raw images how I made that I basically stitched it together you can now this one was neat this was a CD on Mars funny this, right after Firefly, three years ago, I put this one out. I came home and saw this, and it looks so much brighter and more crisp in the PDS. Look at that thing. I mean, it even has, like, a, a centerpiece to it. It looks like a CD. I mean, it, it it's about the size of one, too, when you look at the whole piece, if you look at the actual stuff. But look... Look at just around it, interesting pieces. This one right here, you can't, you got to say, it's flat. It's got like little dots across the back. And if you cut it in half, it would just fold in on each other. I mean, that's symmetry right there. So let's close that one out and keep on moving right along. I know your time is uh, precious. So this one actually got a lot of fanfare. Now, this got a lot of hits with the other versions. So I say, why not? Let's do it with this one. Check this out. This one was one of my favorites. Um, I call it concrete. Whatever it is, it looks to be designed. It's got two levels to it. The top level has actually spaced out pieces. And in the pieces, you know, let me go ahead and let me zoom in on that. Look, look how perfectly spaced out they are. Like if I stick the, I'm so used to having a pointer, not this, because we're doing it through the web, not through uh, Photoshop. But the the difference between these PDS images, it's just amazing the difference in quality. Um, up here too, some interesting things. So this is another one to go check out. Well, they all, they're all definitely ones to download. Now this one I added. I didn't put this one on the show because once again, it's got that NASA. You usually don't see these blurs on these on the PDS versions. You usually only see that on the the uh, ones that are on the website, the NASA website, where they have the 70% JPEG artifacts everywhere. But this one's one to take a look at, especially take a look at the link below. This thing's pretty cool. Um, so click this link below on that and have fun. You'll basically be able to, to open it up and see. So now this one's really cool. Check this out. Can you see what this is without me asking? This is like prime oceanfront property right here. We got a wall out here, the foundation. I made, this is a composite as well. I did my best to put it together, but 
this is one I want you to go ahead and, and download for real and look at all the intricate work that's actually in this. Um, there's so many pieces that have so many interesting parts to it, um, patterns in it. Even as you head out towards the wall piece out here, it looks like wall. Pretty amazing. So let's go ahead and go back on down. Um, now this one, this one, I thought this was, this was one of my recent videos. This looks like rebar on the corner of a building to me. Something It's curved out over here. I must say, this was one of the coolest. Now, it could just be set of, you know, sedimentary rock. I see what I see, you see what you see. Um, but I see evenly spaced, you know, perfect. And even up here, it's kind of beveled in. Here's rounded off. It comes down. I mean, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Definitely one to come check out. Now, this was the dome flipped upside down. Look at this piece. I mean, this was one of my favorites. And if you remember the videos earlier, look how much better quality these are. So I'm going to continue doing this and looking at some of these older ones. We just picked Todd and I, um, you know, from the uh, my other administrator, Ty. We just picked some of the best ones we thought would go over good. But check this one out here. I, I, at the first one, I didn't even really notice this out in the back here. When you go to download it from the site, you know, really take a good look at that. Um, it looks like it's got a piece on it. I mean, I don't know what's going on. And up here too, there's all sorts of uh, all sorts of of actual pretty cool patterns in that, and they're parallel. And now this one was a Molly Cam shot, which I flipped over basically, and this was really neat. It has what looked like an entryway, and it should actually be flipped a little bit more. Um, and this one's one to really take a gander at. Look at this white disc here. It's got bevels in it around the corner. Some people say it looks like it's next to a helmet or a skull. Uh, this one's definitely one to take a good look at. Hit pause. Um, come to the website. Download these images. They're there for you to download. So basically, once you click on them, it's on your computer. You right-click and hit Save As. And look how this stuff kind of runs across. Over here, there's a, p a circle piece that just kind of runs up. And if you flip this, like I said, if, it should be flipped a little bit more. And this actually comes out. Look at that piece up there. I mean, just very interesting. And all these actually have videos on my on the account. So, And now we're down to 1065, which I think is the holy grail when it comes to these. Look at some of these formations. These are what I call absolute destroyed civilization this is what i think you know rome would look like destroyed any one of our major cities that had uh, i mean even look at the the there's three look at the carvings in these things the pieces um look at how far apart they are they've got boxes in them truly amazing and i've put some of the best that i absolutely can um so you really see these in high quality when you come get them. Don't mind the logos. I added the logos, you know, when I'm going on Richard's show. It's nice to, have, you know, promote the website. And the more people come in and join, the more people in the forum. Look at this. We could not get this quality just from the the 70% the JPEGs. Even the Molly cam wasn't. And here's our foot. <laughs> I used to call this the foot piece. But... Either way, look, it's got stuff etched into it. And it's not rain and water didn't do this. And as you see the next one, like I said, as it keeps going on, you can really tell this is a block. Look at the T piece in that block. It's absolutely amazing. Check this. It's got a perfect slot in it right there. This piece right here, check that out. Oh, <laughs> I made it huge there. It's got a, uh, I mean, it looks like it was roller stamped. Very, very cool. Perfectly straight lines. This has got a scoop out of it. This looks, well, here's another foot. Check this out. Even if this isn't a foot, it's got perfectly lines coming into it. It's got what looks to be carved out by something. You know, I don't think that the rocks carve these things out. Look how, you know, perfect they are. Um, for the state they're in. I mean, the devastation obviously is pretty sad. Whatever happened on Mars, that's one thing. When I look at these pictures, I wonder if this is part of us, you know, part of our history somehow. But look at the uh, the symmetry in some of these. It's just absolutely amazing. This piece right here comes down. 
circles up. I mean, this is absolutely just cool. Um, and I want to share with you guys before I go to Firefly. Like I said, if you can catch this, I'm going to rename this article. You can find it in the description below. Um, and I'm going to go enjoy some music. I'll put some videos when I'm there. Much love to you guys. Check out some of the viral videos. They're finally talking about water. They're finally looking at the water that they're dripping down. We've been yelling about it for three years. Um, Chell and myself and uh, a whole bunch of other people that we've tipped off onto it. And uh, finally we're getting there. So, all right, guys. Much love to you. What's up in the sky 37? Peace.